All my mother effing cousins. Period. Yes, what's good to all my mother effing cousins? Let's get into this video. You read the title. You know what's going down today. I become a doctor today. A scientist, a therapist. Somebody who you come to for advice. The best advice that nobody else will give you. They'll give you some fake advice and I'll give you the real. So if you ever need to come to me about some real advice, please do. And I'm going to tell you just how it is. And that's just that on that. So let's get into this video, which is crazy advice. At first I was going to do deep advice, blah, blah. But most of y'all was sending the same regular boring questions like, How do I get over a boy who doesn't like me? How do you get somebody's attention? Y'all was talking about y'all 15, 15 and pregnant. Girl, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's up to your parents. So now we changed it up in the advice video we're doing today. It's crazy, funny advice. Like advice you wouldn't want to personally ask somebody. Because I know there are some situations I've been in where I wouldn't want to ask anybody for advice about that. So that's what y'all doing with me. And I'm here to help and save and make the world a better place. So, <laughs> like this video for me for doing this for the community, generation, and the race. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so we about to get into it. By the way, make sure you watch all my other videos too. They all juicy for you juicy for you let's see what the first person asks some of y'all ask us some really stupid stuff we're gonna start it off calm the calmest simplest ones that i got and then we're gonna go to the, the crazy ones so let's get into it <laughs> all right so first one that somebody said is how to get over a beep in the same school as you this is the hardest thing i had to deal with because i have to see this beep every day Beep is sickening. It's sickening. And by the way, I'm saying beep, beep, beep because Sarah doesn't curse. Only through text messages. So if you want to get cursed out, text it to me. But I'm only answering this one because I've been in this situation before in high school. When I was in high school, I was in this situation. Sadly, and it's kind of embarrassing because I'm like, because now that I think about it, it's like, What was I thinking? But anyway, so what I suggest you to get over somebody you go to school with, that's the worst thing. I'm telling y'all, do not talk to somebody who you go to the same school with. Because when y'all stop talking, you got to see them everywhere. See him at lunch. See him at the library. See him walking to class. See him with his new girl. You don't want that. Save that from yourself now for the people who haven't been in this situation. What I suggest is, girl, you gotta find a distraction. That's the only way you're gonna get over him. So you better find somebody else. That's what this world about. Moving on, talking to new people, starting over, doing what you can to live your best life. So I suggest you just talk to a, d a different dude. Talk to his homie. Hurt his feelings. So go deep where it hurts, if it hurts you. Because I know how it feels. She said it's the hardest thing she had to do with, so. I'm suggesting you the best thing you could do. One of his friends, or m maybe somebody he's no longer friends with. Or, yeah. So I suggest you do that. And it'll make you get over him fast. And make sure they upgrade. Because I don't want you to go talking to somebody that's a downgrade and dustier than them. So, yeah. That's my advice to you. And I promise you it's going to work. Show him you don't give a F. Period. Next, all right, so the next person we gonna go to, we gonna get a little crazier now. Somebody said, here's my crazy wild situation. 
Girl, you got me a little scared. She done sent the petty graph. So we gonna read this. I'm deeply concerned about. So we're gonna talk about it. I had a boyfriend and I made him wait for you know what. And his best friend and I end up having you know what. And he still doesn't know. This was months ago, but talks have been surfacing. So should I tell him before he hears it on the street or not? First of all, let me look at her page. She is too cute to be doing all this. She is actually cute. 17 years old? Girl, first thing I suggest you do is go to the clinic or parent, parent planhood and get checked. That's what I suggest you do right now, first off. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to give you some advice. Go to the clinic, make sure you're good, first off. Because people be dirty nowadays, especially dudes. So that's the first thing. If it's if you saying that talk's starting to surface about the situation, and you got a boyfriend, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you let his best friend before him. How about, okay, this is what I suggest. I suggest you do tell him, but do it through text and not in person because he might sock you or choke you. So I suggest you tell him, but through text messages, tell him it's okay if you're breaking up with me, I understand what I did was horrible and move on with your life. Because that situation is crazy. The streets is tar starting to talk. Or if you don't want to tell him, just break up with him out of nowhere. Don't tell him why you're breaking up with him. Just break up with him. Say you, you're you not feeling the relationship right now. You need a break to grow, need to take some space for yourself to get your mind right. Leave him, do something. I'm trying to help you get out the situation to where they don't talk. I'm trying to help you not get body slammed. I'm trying to help you not get talked about. So that's what my two suggestions is. I hope that advice helps let me know if it does all right on to the next person all right so now we on to the next mother period all right so somebody dm me off a faker page i feel you trying to keep your secret trying to keep your identity a secret i feel it. all right so she said sasha when sasha first of all who is sasha sasha I know she not calling me Sasha. Over you already. Um, we gonna still read it just cause I already started. When I was in seventh grade, me and my friend met this dude named Kevin. And he was weird. We called him PBC, which stood for a pretty boy creeper. And he was like 21, right? But fine. And he used to send us like body pics of him and pics of his print. And he used to like us and one day like a year later he added me on snap and i still got his snap and i seen he was a cop like what is you doing like what is you doing he trying to get me caught anyways he was in massachusetts but then i seen that map now he in ohio and i'm like that's weird because because don't you live in massachusetts but i didn't text him because i haven't talked to him since seventh and i'm in 11th grade but he texted me like link um <laughs> i don't know what to say to that what do you need advice on? I don't see anything here. It's just very confusing. Just like the movie said, get out. That's all I suggest. That's all I'ma say. Other than that, we're gonna skip to the next person cause that's out. Hey, here go a long one. This girl sent her whole life story. So, I work with this guy at my job. I'm 20. He's 26. We started off as real good friends. We started off as close friends. Let me stop playing it. 
We started off as real good friends, and I noticed he was crushing on me, but I ignored it because that was my friend. Then one day he came with a new haircut, and I see him as fine. So I crushed on him back, but I know how to control my emotions, so I never said anything. When me and him goes down, out, returns together, he took me home a couple times, and we smoked. But this one time, we confessed how we felt for each other. But the catch is that he had a girlfriend that he was with for 13 years. <laughs> and then he added me on Instagram, so we talked through there. Then I found out through a friend I also worked with that he was proposing to her. And then just recently, he hit me up talking about he wanted to get a room and all that but he doesn't know that I know he was planning on proposing so recently me and him shared a kiss with several kisses and all that <laughs> let me stop also I just found out he proposed to his girlfriend I asked him to be petty because he didn't think I knew he told me that what it didn't go as planned so he lied to me because she said yes. Like honestly, a guy friend told me if he really wanted to marry the girl, he would have cut all ties with you. But he didn't. He would block me, then block me on Instagram. Then me and him had a big argument because he did some stupid at work. And I told him I was going to start being up to him and not talking to him. And so I guess he blocked me, but a week later unblocked me to tell me he's sorry and how he can make it up to me like I'm messing with a married man. It's wrong, but it's something there, and I don't know what to do, because I see him all the time. Also, before he even proposed to his girlfriend, she found out that he talked to me, and our conversation was X-rated when she read it, and it threatened his relationship. But he still came back, so I don't know what to do, because I'm going to see him all the time sometimes. I think they've been together for 13 years. Maybe he got bored and wants something new. Hmm. I'ma just tell you like this. You gotta get out that situation ASAP. ASAP. That's not okay. He is not okay. And I don't know how you're okay with that. Like, he's married. He's lying. He's blocking you. Why are you still dealing with him? But, yes, you do. Like, leave him alone, girl. He has a wife. Clearly, he's a liar. Clearly, he's a weirdo. He blocks you. He does weird stuff. You had to go off on him. That just sounds like toxicity. Talk city tea. That's what it sounds like to me. And I suggest you get out before you end up with gray hair and pimples on your face, stressed out, crying, eating granola bars seven days a week. That's what I suggest you do. I wish him the best, finding himself, because he's clearly lost. And I, his wife, his wife, she knows what's going on with him. What are you getting saying yes for? Propose to propose. And, uh, uh. I'm not doing this. We're done. We're done. We're done. Next. <laughs> See what we got. This picture's so cute to me. I look so good. Somebody send me something deep. Deep. Oh no. Let's see what we get into right here. Let's see what we get into right here. Okay, so my mom was seeing this guy. He started getting mad, controlling. Wouldn't let her go to work. Expected her to cook for him every night. He was having her follow, which of course we didn't know all the time. He was just overall super clingy. At first, it was nice because he would take us out to eat, offer to pay bills, etc. It got weird, so she tried to break up with him. But he wouldn't let her. Like at all, she tried everything. Told him that she didn't love him or want him at all. Fast track to months later, which was just recently. Something happened and he threatened to kill her. 
and me and my sister. So we all had left the house because he had keys. We hid out at my aunt's house for like five days while my mom was seeing a judge to get an order. Turns out, turns out the man had a record of murder, kidnapping, assault, etc. And we didn't even know his real name. Bro, so we ended up getting the restraining order, but he was still texting slash calling my mother effing mom. She said, bro, I forgot a part. So when my mom first got the restraining order, they went to the house to him and he locked himself in. There was two unmarked police cars and he walked out the back door and he jumped the fence. So the restraining order didn't even work because they have to give it to the person in their hands. He left his car so I told the police he would probably come back, which he did, but they didn't want to stay. So he took the rental car, parked it a few blocks away, keyed their entire car, leather seats and everything, broke the wiper things, etc. and stole a bunch of S out the house. Mind you, this man is 40 years old. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. 40 years old. Hold on, I gotta reply back to her. I am shook. Hands up, don't shoot, don't shoot. This is beyond going to sleep. I don't know what is going on. That is... Oh my god. Mm. I can't. Get out. Oh my god, I gotta do that thing for Nickelodeon. Oh my god. I love you. I definitely suggest you get some professional I hate to be the one to say it but I suggest you get a that dude is crazy crazy he's crazy and crazy people don't play they minds is like something out of this world trust me I can deal with it I suggest you um yeah definitely get cameras move away go to a different state change your name change your hair color yeah, cuz that guy is crazy or get him locked up somehow find a way to get him locked up get him away that's all I'm gonna say but that's the end of this video hope y'all like this mother video let me know if y'all did like this video make sure you go watch some of the other ones make sure you follow wardrobe page because I'm getting rid of all them clothes for 20 20 20 dollars each so other than that, I'm about to enjoy my day. I hope you enjoy yours. Thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And I'm out of here. It's been cool. Period. Popping way. Thank you. It's that part.